1.2 million acres. That's what encompasses the Black Hills National Forest grazing system. You can buy the cows or buy the land and then you get the permit to graze on the National Forest. Starting in June, ranchers who use forest grazing permits will truck or trail their cattle to summer pastures. Those pastures could make or break ranches in the Black Hills. The permits help sustain our ranch as a viable operation. Uh, without them, we can't find enough grass locally. We'd probably have to go within 100 miles to find enough forage to summer our cows. If you see cattle in the forest this summer, don't worry. That's probably where they're supposed to be. Let them do their thing. They'll eat their grass and don't forget to shut the gate. I'm the fifth generation to operate our family ranch. Uh, we've been using forest permits since the inception of the Forest Service. Cattle are not the only ones to benefit from forest grazing programs. Wildlife, forest ecosystems, and outdoorsmen benefit as well. It's a pretty widely accepted sign that an absence of grazing pressure results in decreased forage production uh, for both domestic grazing and for wildlife. It also results in a decrease in overall range health. Cattle are excellent grazers. Uh, wildlife can pick and choose the forage that they want. Cattle, we can use pasture rotations to better utilize standing forage and then rest it for a period of time and then come back to it the next year. Um, also, cattle are better at seed trampling than wildlife are. and. Uh, Fire fuel reduction is a, is a huge problem in the forest right now with all the mountain pine beetle infestation and all the dead timber on the, for, on the ground floor. Um, we can better graze it by pasture rotation than wildlife can. The Black Hills National Forest, multiple use national forest, so as well as providing uh, forage for livestock and producers, we're also managing, for, again, for that long-term health and trend uh, of our vegetative resource. And while that cow is helping regenerate the ecosystem, there's a family at the ranch that benefits as well. There's a family in their community that's attached to that animal. That cow represents an input back into the local economy. And that cow is providing a management tool for the Forest Service and, and other uh, land managers to properly take care of the forest. Grazing permits are huge assets for area cattlemen. Without them, ranches would cease to be viable operations. Reporting in Spearfish, I'm Brenna Ramsey.